Hello folks, and welcome back to Survival Challenge here on No Man's Land. And as you can probably tell by the title and the thumbnail, we've got our gold field to harvest. However, first of all we need to do our daily stuff of selling all of our pallets of stuff we're not storing, so such as our pancakes and our gold bars. Also, we need to top up the sawmill because that is out of timber. So, I think our, in between the episodes, what I've got and done is cut some trees down, not too many. Maybe a trailer or two. But, yeah, I'm still to cut more trees down. And to be fair, I think where we're planning on wrapping things up here in the coming episodes, like, how long we've got left, I am not sure maybe another five to ten episodes or so and plan is to get these coming out over the coming weeks like do two or about three episodes a week I'm planning on doing let's get these strapped down so yeah hopefully come by end of February into, uh, into March we should be wrapping up things here and yeah I want to do that because yeah, this episode, well, not this episode, this series has gone on for long enough, and to be fair now, like, as I've mentioned before, we have quickly gone out of the realms of survival or challenging, like, just look at our bank account, we're at 8.8 .8 mil at the moment. That is after even spending, what, about 100 grand in between episodes on sugar, just to top up our other production facility, so... Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff, so let's go get this rest loaded up, and then let's go and sell these. There we go, we are done. So yeah, just be going around doing pallet work and I have to figure out how we hit the pallet limits and all that other good stuff as you normally do. So anyways, we need to drop this. Um, I want to discharge this into here. There we go. That's that empty. So for now, just wipe that bag over there. How much close have we got? 36,000 litres at the moment, so yeah, we've got a lot of products to sell at some point. We've got 36,000 litres of clothes, the eggs, we've got what over 200,000 litres. I know that for sure, I think like 250,000 litres. So, should have a look here. So, look at our chickens. Okay, we're hitting that pad them again apparently, but anyway, so we got yeah, sixty thousand litres and obviously our, well almost two hundred thousand litres, so you know what? Yeah, now it's two hundred, so two hundred and fifty seven thousand litres. Yeah, that those two litres that was annoying me a little bit, so actually I wanna look at our animal sex. I haven't really been paying much attention, apart from my cows like at the moment they're doing good, like tons of sorry, tons of milk being produced, so 
Yep, we're producing milk for days. Sheep, they're looking good, feed wise. Oh, actually, they're getting old, they are, so these ones we should really get some new sheep in, I think, t to be fair. Like, yeah, like, f wow, 57 months old. And chickens are right for feed at the moment. Do we need more feed soon? That big bag we had is going to run out very soon. But yeah, besides from that, we are looking good. So now, all we have to do is just go and sell some gold. And our stuff actually. So let's get the last gold padded or two of those up. And then we'll see how much we can make. And there we are, so let's go grab this last pallet of gold. Yeah, no, 10 is not the best time to sell gold, but at the moment, am I really going to be saying that, oh, we should wait a couple of months to get more money, whilst we're sitting on almost 10 million pounds again? I think actually, once we sell this, we should hit that 10 million pound mark, I think. Well, at least very close to it. Yeah, got 22,000 litres of pancakes, 16,000 litres of gold, 2,000 litres of donuts, and a partridge and pear tree with some cakes. Actually, what? We're producing so much sugar, like, what I can't lift those, but. Yeah, I've set this to distribute now, so that will be distributing. And in the next episodes, we've got a lot of sugar to deal with, like the sugar cane and sugar beet. They're going to be ready next month, so I am looking forward to harvesting those. And, ah, that's why we fit the pandemic. What have I got in purchase? Like, I know it's been like, what, for me personally, it's been a day since I've last been on, but what's all this? Ah, yeah, it's the recycled polymers we need for the productions of, well, one of the stuff with the great factory stuff and that. Actually, we'll go and have a look at that in a sec. But yeah, let's go and I was like, why are we hitting the pallet, they may like, I swear we didn't. But yeah, that makes sense now why we hit the pad limit. Oh, well, almost 10 million, 9.27 million, so 377 grand. And yeah, the recycle polyesters and polymers are for one of these, so it's not the oil stuff, it's not the fab. Oh no, it is the fabric. Yeah, that is to make, um, what was it, grape leverite, leverette, leverite, it's not it, so I there, it's like leverette. Because, yeah, like, this is why I've been building up to the grape harvest and that for, since, what, episode 10? Um, we're 50 plus episodes in, but, yeah, we want to grape, so, with the grapes we can produce raisins, which we'll distribute to make cereal. Also, we're going to make some grape juice from that. And also some unpackaged grape juice, which will be used to make premium grape juice. So if we go down here, obviously the grape seed we get as a byproduct and a grape must. Yeah, the grape seed, that will be going to here, that will produce us grape seed oil. And the must that will be going in will help us with making the grape leveret of which can be used to make shoes and belts so i'm just looking at that look at the ratio so that is six thousand litres of leveret a month uh we can produce twelve thousand litres of leveret a month so we're going to need, what, 1.5 times 2,000 is, let's just say, 4,000. And how much are these? Oh yeah, we got more than enough polyesters and polymers, so 
think this alone will last us a while, so let me get us all those up onto here. And then we'll go and start harvesting the grapes. I want to get this production underway now, like, I am excited, even though I'll probably not tell my voice and that, because, yeah, last couple of days I'm recording this just after midnight, after Van Type Day, so the 15th, which is Thursday. Hopefully it should come out today, but yeah, last few days, not last week or so. Just be under the weather and that, feeling ill, but it's sort of cold and fluy fight almost, but get better now, so yeah. Let me get this all loaded up, and then start doing the great harvesting. And there we are, just a little bit getting slowed up, so that's four pallets. And yeah, when I managed to say purchase, I thought, okay, just buy a buckload of a band. Yeah, I didn't really think about it, but once we get this harvesting underway, get these production chains underway, I think what we can do next is figure out where the bottlenecks are. Apart from anything to do with incoming the primary product, which is grapes, I want to figure out, like, down the line, where are we bottlenecking? Like, for example, we know already with the leveret. To get shoes and belts, we're going to need quite a bit, like 12,000 litres a month of leveret. Actually, no, no, not bottlenecking actually. Actually, no, for one, yes, but for both, yeah, what's that? Looking at the math, so let's just say 2,880 times 2, 6, 12. So we're producing, actually, yeah, more than we needed. But things like with the unpackaged grape juice, like, obviously that's going to be used to make premium grape juice and sparkling grape juice. And yeah, that's just our other productions. Got so much milk in there, like, I'm over sending everything to sell because we've got so much butter and all that at the moment, so don't really need to store any. No, miss a pallet. There it goes, swing out. Well, yeah, I think actually there is no bottlenecks in this whole production fiasco. And obviously, I've tagged the place because I don't know which production is which. As you may have noticed when we was doing the whole pallet work, I was like figuring out, it's like, what are these five pallets and where they've come from? Oh, yeah, there's spinnery and that stuff, so. We got a bit of waste going, though does it seem too far? It is literally halfway across the map, so I'll see you folks when we're a bit closer. And as we're making our way through this sugar cane field, like you cannot see what we are like, it's this super dense now. What was that leasing fee? The weight or something or I don't know what it was, wait for a pallet. But anyways, we got 21,000 litres of recycled polymers and that. And going back up here, that is 3,500 litres a month, so almost about, was that, six or seven months worth, so you know, getting over 21,000 years down the road, and that is enough for us for an entire year, and I think a year is going to be enough, because I think the plan with wrapping up this series is we're going to be selling all our stuff, some of the equipment we've got will be taking us to our next series. At the moment, I've been doing some testing, looking at maps and that, and I'm tempted to go to the Americas. Like, we haven't done the American map for ages. Like, I think with me personally with FS22, apart from Erdingrad, like the base game map, I've retouched really American maps on FS22, and 
yeah, I wouldn't change that bit. I know at the moment Stone Valley is all the grey, so it's not going to be Stone Valley. Oops, cracking in the voice there. But yeah, I think down the road in the future I will be doing a Let's Play series on Stone Valley. I also want to make sure everything with the map itself is fully working, like, to I think, what was it, like, yesterday in that? Um, or actually a couple of days ago, Craig Mesh came out with... Obviously there was comments about the recent update with Stone Valley, having issues with straw harvesting or straw work in general on consoles, but... I think the TLDR is, it's fine. And it's not a map issue, it's a... Oh, what was it? Mod conflict, that's it. Something to do with perhaps a mod conflict or a people who used to be playing on the map haven't created a new game save that may be causing some issues but yeah I want to let that map just do its own thing in that let some time pass as we're now on the harvesting and where's our brakes to? ah there it is so I was like we're getting new grapes, I don't know, it's just a bit of a delay going to the hoppers and that. And yeah, I just want to see, one, how much grapes we're getting from this. And two, yeah, just like, how long is it going to take to get this all done? Like, if I do it in cab, if I keep the, where the steering wheel is, if I keep that centre of the vines, is that fine? Actually it is, yeah, keep it in the centre. And yeah, this will take us a while. And actually, can we hire a worker? Nope, is the answer, and that's a shame really. I wish we had the ability to have workers that can do the great harvesting stuff, but I guess in with mods and that, like with the width in the vineyards, like the widths here are pretty sure they're base game, they're just a cheap version of the vines. But yeah, I know there's other mods where you can change the width of the between the vines, so makes it easier to work on with things like the mulching and the plowing stuff. And yeah, you know, yeah, like personally, we've got no issues with that. We've done a bit of mulching already, done oh, plowing, that took us hours to do. I mean, I think what was it, like five or six hours that took us to do all this, like plowing it all? And please tell me we can get to the end of this. And yeah, I think yeah we should be able to get to the end before we fill up. But yeah, looks like we need a couple of traders, like one on north end, one on south end. And yeah, we need some something with decent capacity. So yeah, let me have a look at some tree options for these grapes, and I'll get back to you folks. So yeah, be looking around, obviously we can go down the route with the Tardy stuff. I think, yeah, I think realistically, maybe the Excel we can do with a bit more, because 20,000 liters, like, each stretch we're doing 2500 a year, so that is four vines we can do. And I'm not sure in terms with like the access into the traders, but I am going to go something slightly different. Part of the vineyard pack we're using, so yeah, it's like all this stuff like a pre pruner and all that other stuff, like. The mod stuff for this vineyard stuff is actually quite nice, but what we're looking at is the Tipper Trader here, and it's the Feltrina Vignetto 3AX. Try to do that with a bit of a vague Italian accent, but yeah, let's go with purple. Screw it, let's go with purple. So this is 20,000 liters, and we're going to need two of these so there we go 
Now it's that sorted. Because, yeah, I do want to buy it because realistically, we're going to be having it for this harvest and we'll maybe do one more harvest at the end of this. Apart from that, I'm not sure on, but actually, also, is there any. Well, if we go to the vineyard pack stuff. Is there any other bits we can have? So, nothing there. But I mean, there's tractors now, like, do something different. So, tractors wise, we're looking at the fence. Yeah, fence or Landini, so. Like, actually, not heck, it's screw it. Let's go. Go in these stoves. Just, again, it's because we can do it, so. Wow, that is a big trader compared to. <laughs> that is big indeed, so. Okay, the worker, I want you to go somewhere here, so can you do that please? But yeah, let me get this over and then we'll see where we stand afterwards. Get everything all set up before we start harvesting it properly. And there we are, got everything all set up here, so yeah, I think. Yeah, let's just leave the trailer over here, so, like so. And next we'll hop into the oxbow here, so... This, I'm assuming we can just go and empty this in here. There we go, so, back it up. And yet, yeah, we are emptying. And actually, is there any, like, in terms of the capacity in that, like... Yeah, we've got a 3100 year capacity there. 3000, 3100 a year, so... I think, um, who, who creates the Laser Colossus stuff, is it? Matt Trucker 91? Because, yeah, I think they're working on something where you have a modern version of the base game stuff. Not stuff, the harvester and that. And yeah, I think. I'm sure there's going to be a unreal capacity of it, but that's I'd be looking forward to. Maybe increasing working speed in that. Actually, it's a correction. The Colossus is actually by Chris S and Riley S. Like, yep, yeah, my bad. I got mixed up between. I thought. They were the ones that did the Reaper Harvester that we've got. And obviously, and the Colossus was by Matt Trucker, but no, Matt Trucker does the Reaper Harvesters that we've got on here on the farm. But yeah, the Colossus Harvester Pack by Chris S and Wright S. Yeah, that's the one they're planning on doing an update at some point. I know at the moment they're plan working on the update to. Oh, was it the Kinsey Multi Fruit Planter? Yeah, the Kinsey Multi Fruit Planter pack. And then I think once they're done with that, like I think, yeah, I think I saw some photos t yesterday on, on it, and actually it's quite interesting because yeah, I'm going to court farm now. I was like struggling with the whole capacity issue with how much liquid fertilizer it holds, like that. And their plan is to add like a rear hitch where you can like attach something like Umatana's TARDIS pack, like the liquid tanks. You attach something to the back. And from there what you can do is use that for a liquid tank. And of course see that there's many mods on on nearest mods available. I can't remember the names of them. Of where you can put like a sea tank in front. Actually, do I have any of these mods installed? Um, but yeah, no, not that. Actually, no, it was like, yeah, something vaguely like that, but... Yeah, I don't think I have them um, installed, but yeah, it's like, things like the Lemkins now, there's like... Ones by Valstrad, and I'm sure there's other ones, I just can't remember off the top of my head for sure, Nat, but... 
Yeah, I know there's stuff for sure that that you have stupid capacity amount of seed in that. Actually, I think it's the Kubota pack, actually. Or Kubota equipment pack. Actually, is it? Actually, I can tell if I, no, I don't have the mod enabled on here, so... But yeah, if I remember, I'll leave something in the editing in post-post-production, but... But yeah, besides for that, as I'm just waffling on, we've got a lot of harvesting to do, so yeah. You know what that means. It's going to be a time-lapse, and then... This is going to take us a good hour or two, I think, easy to get all this done. But at the end of the day, it's going to be worth it, so let's get this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
and here we go. It has been a while. What's that, what, two hours or so we've been going on for? So, yeah. We are nowhere close to being done with this. We've got another 40,000 years ready to be put in. I'm just going to put what we've got here in the harvester in. So, yeah, let's go over here. So, yeah, let's look at the PDA. We've only done, what, less than half the fields? Like, when you compare it like, to the big street bits, that is, I'll say, about 40% done. Obviously, there's this bit here that, for some reason, when we've gone in, I think it's when we purchased, well, not purchased, when we put the vineyard stand, we was having issues with where everything was stacking up in that, in terms of with what did you prune in, what didn't you prune in, or mulching, or whatever it was, but that section area was is a month behind, but what overall is not end of the world, because we do need to get some forestry done. I didn't realise this was going to take as long, but hey, here's what it is sometimes, so let's go and put this in. I actually didn't realise what it is. This is like a double compartment setup, so not too bad. So we're going to have a look at our productions. Currently, we've got 52,000 litres of grapes, so that is was about 70,000 litres is about a month's worth. So for doing, yeah, I'll see if we just get this in a sec. There we go. What was I saying is, if we decide to leave this until next month, then you know what? That is fine, because if we look at the recipes, it is 2, 5, 700, 700 litres per cycle or per recipe. There's 96 cycles in a month, so 700 times 96. It's just shy of 70,000, so already we've got a month's supply worth. However, we do have a little bit more left. And yeah, we did return those small tractors. They were nice, they were good and that, but we had traction issues, it kept me tipping over almost. Just, yeah, they weren't capable of carrying 20,000 litres of grapes. Who were the fools? But, anyways, let's get the rest in, and then let's move over to the lumbering. And there we go, so we have a look here, we've got just shy of 92,000 litres, so, yep, as said, we've got just over a, a month's worth, so, this time next month, for if it was end of October, we'd be fine, but the rest of the harvesting we'll do next month. Yeah, I know we've got the sugar cane and sugar beet to do, but they can be done in October or November, so... Just double check, yeah, over here we've got our trader and our lorry, so this is a huge trader, so... This should hold pretty much most of these, if not, yeah, have a look, maybe all of it. These are 12 metre length cuts, and I'm not sure how long this trailer is, so, actually you know what, before we cut any more trees down, because, yeah, I've done this small section here, and we've only, what, like a fifth of the way through the forest itself, so, yeah, I've still got a bit of ways to go, so if I can just grab X amount and X amount being two trees. Come on, we can carry more. That's why I've got the big weight on here, so we can carry Yeah, you can have a seven half ton weight and not expect to carry a buckload of timber. But yeah, my concern is does this line up? Is it a 24 meter long trader? 
answer is no. Fairness, we should have cut these longer, but oh well. Trying to get this on. And, yeah. This is the thing about doing forestry is getting all the logs lifted up and put it on. After a little adjustment, we are done. Yeah, I think this is a a 12 meter length trailer, maybe much, uh, about 14, 15 meters or so. Can't do too much. Perhaps we should have done like 6 meter length logs, 6 or 8. Yeah, I think if memory serves me right, we could have done like two rows off or two sections off. Seven or eight meter logs, so yeah, it doesn't help. Whereas it's all not in lines, all a bit crisscrossy. It's gonna make this fun lifting it up, so I think in the future when we do the next bunch the next three bunch of timber. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's all over the place and physics is having yeah. Physics doesn't know what to do with all this, so let's, let's just calm things down a bit. Take a chill pill and let's try this again. Two logs. Can we go for three logs? I already have issues with the tension straps with two logs, so yeah, sure, three logs will be just fine with no issues whatsoever. Actually, screw that, let's do four. Oh no, don't tip the trailer over, envoy. God. Don't, nope, don't tip the tractor over either. Oh, this is going to go very well. And I think the wolf agrees with me on that. Yes. Yeah. Once again, bear with me a sec. So, with that bit sorted, hopefully the rest of this should be fine since now they're all relatively in a line. And what I can do is push and grab. I don't know why I'm doing this because we know exactly how this is going to go, but. Well, just grab a big bunch of logs, whack them down, and see what happens. But, yeah, we need the timber to get the sawmill back underway. Yeah, because we're out of timber, so we need timber to make our planks and all that stuff, so we can get furniture. And you what? Let's just say, yeah. <laughs> Not the most professional way of logging. And that is very close to the cab, so hopefully the trap doesn't give way. But yeah, this should be enough to get the production underway. And then we can focus on just getting everything else topped up, so here we are. Pull that in. 37,000 a year or so. And put me into our production tab because it's going to take forever to find it. But yeah, how much is that worth? So, 37,000 a year is about just over a third away. So, let's get some more trees done, chop down, and all that good stuff. And then, I'll see you folks later on. Should be, what, half an hour or so this will take? Yeah, about 15 minutes to half an hour to get all these logs done. Fill up all of our sawmills, and then. I think that's where I leave it for today.
there we go, we are done, so we had one full though, but I thought, let's fill up the sawmill up top, the farm sawmill, and yeah, that took, what, about 30,000 years or so, give or take. Also, you may notice in the time now, so we did go and chip a couple of trees, get about 250,000 years old with chips. That's because I thought, yeah, we've got plenty of trees at the moment. Let's experiment this stuff with wood pellets and that. So in future episodes, yeah, we'll dive into wood chip pellets and all that. So yeah, we need to go this way. Nope, not that way. But yeah, this should almost fit up to the top. It'll need another load, but for now, the production's up and running again, so there we go, 86,000 litres. Oops. Let's grab the rest of those. 90,000 litres, so we have a little look. Yeah, it's practically filled up, so yeah, pr productions are on the way, and yeah, we're halfway through this, so next episode we will continue with that. But primarily what we need to focus on is these fields as well. Because I need sugar in that, we need sugar. But yeah, what's gonna do just before we end the episode here, let's go and sell all these sheep. There we go. Uh, yeah, these were Black Welsh Mountains. Let's go with... And I want to go with just your typical land race off Bethlehem, so we want adult ones. There we go. But yeah, we need sugar that. Just keep with up with our productions. There we go, so that's all bits. So yeah, that is the sheep's field. Ah yeah, just checking the age of our, our animals. 8, 12, 22. So yeah, they still got another 14 months before it becomes not as economically viable for to have them. But at least in terms with the actual cost of and how much food they require in that. But yeah, I think on that note, that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel yet, then please consider. But, for as you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this will be from Evil Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.